What I'd like to do is to allow some time for questions. Move on to so this uh, these cases are included in a new publication which I've worked on with Peter Franklin. He's a for those of you who don't know, he's a professor of intercultural management at Constance. And what we've done is we've re done this book. We we published this book ourselves a couple of years ago, published by York Associates. It's now published by Copenhagen. And one of the new additional elements that we've added into it are cases. Why have we done that? Because we wanted to, as I said, create a bridge uh, which was helpful for our, for our readers and our learners between, if you like, the concept of mindfulness and encouraging them to be mindful about their own behavior. Um, and we felt that these cases were one of the ways of helping them to make that bridge. Okay, so that's, that's really all I, all I wanted to say. I hope that we can now um, have some questions um, from, from you as, as, as an audience, um, and also um, maybe one or two online questions as well. Oh, no, Jeremy, is this the difference of reading the book? rather than being about sort of language, it's very much about management skills. It's about behavior. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about behavior influenced by the factors I've said. And how you develop improved performance is you know, up to you. I mean, what we identify is as much issues to do with leadership and communication, and don't overtly address language. I mean, the book, the book and the approach, this whole DPI approach is as relevant to native speakers of English as it is to non-native non -native speakers have an additional challenge, which is language. Um, but I think the challenges that it identifies are shared equally by native and non-native speakers. So yes, no, yes, I, I think maybe I didn't make that clear at the start. I mean, York Associates has language and communication side where, you know, we do lots of business English, lots of ESP, etc. But we also have another part of, the, of our business which is concerned with leadership and sort of developing people to work in international teams. So it focuses more on that. That's not to in any way diminish the importance of language because it's really critical as well. Any other question? It's written for both. It's written for both. Absolutely. I mean, we've hopefully written it in a way that is that is accessible to a sort of B1 stroke B2 level uh, participant, um, non-native, uh, as much as, but we've also written it in a way that it doesn't talk down to native speakers. You'll have to judge that yourself. But, uh, I think we've got a question coming on yeah. online. So we've got uh, Rhiannon is asking you, Jeremy, if you're offering a complete package, book plus videos. Not yet. Yet. I mean, we, we invested in producing a lot of video, um, and I think you probably know that creating video is extremely expensive. Um, and the way that people can get hold of the video is by doing an accreditation. Which is our DPI accreditation, if you're interested in that. We've got a stand here. So that is available. Video and also audio resources and other resources. The book. Is a, it comes out of that work, but it's you know separate. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, can you have a yeah. That's a good question. That's a good question. I would normally write them up on a flip chart or something, but we don't have one. So TMS is Team Management Systems. Um, and if you, if you like to go to the website, it's www.tmsdi.com. And TIP stands for the International Profiler. And if you would like to find out more about that, you go to www.worldwork.biz. So these are two profiling tools which you can accredit yourself to use and to develop this approach, I mean, in other words, for us to develop this approach and also for our trainers to be skilled in developing people's mindfulness, this we see as a very important additional accreditation process. Get the TMS, the psychometric tool, and also the VIP 
uh, this competence to <laughs> Sorry, the international, the uh, international uh, program. Martin? Um, yeah, I mean, mindfulness is a, a Buddhist concept as well. For those of you who are familiar with Buddhism, you will recognize that as well. So, um, yes, absolutely. I, I think that there is a connection with that. I mean, in the sense that, you know, one of the issues we look at is conflict. And uh, I think it's a well-known fact that, that, that a, key, uh, a key thing that we need to learn about dealing conflict is the ability to take a very deep breath and to step back from it before we throw ourselves into it. And that, that sort of taking a deep breath, even physically taking a deep breath, in order to calm down, um, we, it is, is very, very important. So I think, yeah, I think that, that you are, at the same time, developing people to calm down. So, yeah. Sorry, Jeremy, is there a, a synergy or an overlap between mindfulness of the manager in a, in a conflictual situation and the language that he uses and when I say that I mean is there a space somewhere to teach the language of conflict management well, as language teaches would there be does the book help us to identify a particular type of language no, that it doesn't, be used it, doesn't. Conflict it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't drill down to that level okay. of concrete gambits or expressions or whatever. Right. Um, I mean, there are other books that try and do that. I mean, it stays at the level of thinking about um, our approach to conflict, our attitude towards conflict, right. the various strategies that we can use for dealing with conflict. But above all, it, it, it tries to develop the ability, as I just said, to step back, to observe and to think about what's going on here um, and, and also not only what's going on there in terms of let's say those people in a conflict situation but also what's going on in, inside me what's going on inside me as I as I get sucked into this conflict it's working more at that level than yeah, it is on, but I mean the language obviously can be very critical for people. but no, yeah. I think that you know maybe there's another publication there, which I is around the, the language of conflict or the language of conflict <laughs> Um, sorry, sorry. You said about you talked through the, the cases that you use, but then in in the book, how how are those used? How how well the, how, in the book, how, how were they built on, or are they just no? There? No, there are questions. There are questions, and there are suggested answers. The book is obviously something that goes out there, and you don't know how. Who's going to read it? So right. it, 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 the way it wraps that up in a partly satisfactory way is that you know you uh, read the well. Yes, I think I think I have to be honest about this because if as a trainer you would want to get more out of those cases than simply the questions and the answers that are provided in the book. I mean, and I would obviously hope that you, when you read those cases, that you think, yes, those are interesting cases. Those are cases which I can give to my participants to read. And I can do a little bit more with them than, than we do on paper. Right. I mean, the book, the book is much more than the cases. So the book, what the, else? The, oh, right, okay. the cases come at the end of a chapter, uh, for example, dealing with communication, um, and for example, dealing with the issue about how direct or how indirect you can be, and how, how you can deliver feedback, etc., etc., etc. And it ends up with a case. Right. So. Um, I just isolated one small element of the book. It is on the stand, so you can come and have a look. Okay. Yeah. You probably used the book in both of the types of programs that you work, right? I mean, you can use both the leadership because it's like a grounding in trying to understand all these different integrated. I would hope so. Right? I would hope so. Although I think for most language learners, their priority is so strongly to do with 
getting their level up in terms of language to, to take a step back and look at this bigger picture. In many cases, they're not. They're not either not ready for it, it's not, it's not their priority. So I think, you know, one of the big jobs that we have um, as language trainers moving into the, which I've been talking about, is persuading our participants that this value added. Because, you know, in a language classroom, you know, you work on the present perfect and you hope, probably mistakenly, at the end of the lesson they'll be able to fight and they'll be able to measure it. We're not working in an area that's so easy to measure. Um, so we have to work harder to convince our managers, our HR departments, etc. But I think in my own mind, there's absolutely no doubt about this, the world is becoming an ever more complex place, an ever more demanding place for people to work internationally. And this this mindfulness will really work. So I mean but you if you're interested in going down this road and maybe you already are, have to work hard to persuade people. Okay, Martin, you wanted to ask a question. The uh Issue of decisions of personality and yeah. um, are there guidelines in the book of symptoms? This is more down to personality, but more down to culture. Mm -hmm. In terms of personality, how are you going to deal with that? We don't ever say this behavior is due to personality or this behavior is to do with culture. And I think that's a person is a mistake. I think that you what you need to look at. If you watch behavior and think about behavior, is that there is an influence of personality. You need to think about them, and TMS profile helps you to think about that person as it does yourself. Um, but to actually say, okay, he behaved like this because he's an extrovert, simplistic way, is never the whole, you know, he may have behaved like this because he was doing it in front of his boss in a meeting. And he felt that he needed to perform in front of the boss, you know. So, so that may be a, more of a cultural thing to do with the group that he belongs to. And so, I never, we never say this is due to one. What we're trying to say, we're trying to say, is that you need to keep them all in mind. You need to be mindful. That's why it's quite difficult. And of course, another key thing about intercultural training is that it's not black and white. It's it's ambiguous. And one of the one of the key things that we're trying to do with our participants is to develop their tolerance of ambiguity, not having a nice black and white answer. This behavior is due to that. And people, this is a very, quite a hard lesson to learn, actually, because they are looking, as I started at the beginning, very often in a very results performance related way to say, okay, I do this and I get that result. So actually, sort of, you know, making that more complex is, 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 is to some people not a message they want to hear. But I think what they will find as they try to get results across this complex world, that they need to be more sophisticated. I mean, we have a lot of experience about that. I mean, for example, Tesco, we work with Tesco, a UK retailer that's having a lot of success at the moment, rolling out Tesco's across the world. And I had to work very hard at the start when they were putting together the international team for the Tesco rollout, uh, to convince them that what would work, the Tesco profile of the successful manager in the UK would work necessarily in time. Yeah, because, you know, it's worked, we've got our results, that's what we're going to transfer. Yeah, I think, well, you could, for me, culture is never just about uh, never about come just about country. I mean, it, it's often as relevant to look at cultural behavior linked to the organization of culture. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, the, the company culture or the culture of that level of, of cultural behavior coming from the group, which we want to maybe make much, much more significant than the fact that you're German or Chinese. So, yeah. Thank you very much.